everyone. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And if you're wondering, Yvette, like what are some powerful rituals that I can do at this time to take me into the new year, you landed on the right video. Today, I'm going to tell you all about how to do the right seven times and put it under your pillow. Now, listen, this is a powerful technique because you are basically telling your subconscious mind what it is that you want and you're sleeping on it. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is a metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives manifesting techniques in all different ways. The only thing I'm asking for you to do is to like, subscribe, tap the bell, but most of all, just keep watching the videos. I'm back everyone. Now, what is it that I have to tell you about writing something seven times and placing it under the pillow? Now, before I get started, I want to let you guys know why you're doing this. When you write something over and over and over again, you are telling your subconscious mind, hey, this is what I'm paying attention to. This is who I am. And this is what I expect in my life. When you do this, your subconscious mind eventually is going to take it in. And as it takes it in, it's going to send it out to the universe and bring back to you whatever it is that you want. It is just that simple and it's universal laws, okay? So now, how are you going to do this? You're going to first get something to write on and something to write with. And you're going to come up with a statement of what it is that you want. So let's just say it's $50,000. So you're gonna make a statement as if you already have it, like, thank you God for blessing me with the $50,000. Aha, just as simple. And you're going to write it seven times. Now you can write it in the front and the back if you don't have enough room. I just want you to write it seven times. Now you're probably saying, Yvette, why seven times? Seven is the number of being on the right path. It is also a lucky number. When you go to the casinos, what do you see on most of the machines? Seven, seven, seven. Seven is a powerful number that represents luck, that represents success, and it represents being on the right path. So when you write something out seven times, you are basically putting it out there that I expect this, this is who I am, and it's part of my journey. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, what are you going to do after you wrote your statement seven times? You're going to take it and you're going to put it under the pillow in the pillowcase. I put mine in the pillowcase so that it's not all over the place. Now, what pillow are you going to use? You're going to use the pillow that you sleep on, everyone. Listen, don't tell me, oh, Yvette, I put it in the pillow. It's on the bed, but I don't sleep on it. No, I want it as close as possible to your head so that you are sleeping on whatever it is that you want. Now, here's a tip for you. I'm asking you before you put it in the pillowcase, sit back and read what you wrote, okay? I want you to read what you wrote to further put it in your subconscious mind. And then I also want you to visualize whatever it is that you want. So let's just say it's the $50,000. You can visualize yourself going to the bank and seeing $50,000 in the bank. Or you can visualize a check coming to you for $50,000. Maybe you're just talking to your family members, telling them how you just manifested the 50,000. But I really want you to focus on manifesting the 50,000 at the end result. Now, after you do that, you are welcome to put the paper underneath the pillow in the pillowcase and sleep on it. Okay, so now what else are you going to do with this? You're going to leave it under your pillow for at least seven days, okay? Now, what you can do, you can take it out every night and read it, visualize, and see yourself as having this $50,000 and then place it back under the pillow. So there's many ways of doing this. The next day, you can read what you wrote and then put it back in the pillow or you can write it all over again. Remember, Whatever you're doing, we just want to keep repeating what you desire in your life as if it is already done. So you can read it or you can write it again. So now, how long are you going to leave it under the pillow? Seven days. For me, 
I leave mine under the pillow for at least 28 days. That's just the way I do it. But at least seven days if you want to stick with the sevens, okay? Now, what are you going to do once you decide to take it out from underneath the pillow? You can actually take it and put it in your wallet. You can carry it around with you. You can actually burn it to the universe and blow the ashes out to the universe. For me, after I had it under my pillow for seven days or 28 days, I then burn it and blow it out to the universe. It is just that simple. Now, here's some extra tips for you guys. Please, when you're doing this, do not, I'm going to tell you again, do not go looking over your shoulder every single minute for when it's coming, how it's coming, because you are actually saying, I don't believe, and you're pushing yourself away from whatever it is you wrote on the paper. Another tip is, as you are reading what you wrote every night, you say to yourself out loud, God, I give this to you. I trust and I let go. Again, God, I give this to you. I trust and I let go. Why? Because you're letting go of the worry. You're letting go of the strain. And you're saying, God, I trust you. You're my supplier. Whatever it is that I'm getting in my life comes from you. Now, as an extra tip for those people that are still here, you can actually write whatever it is that you want on a bay leaf, you guys. Hey, look, remember, bay leaves in feng shui is an attractor, okay? So you can take seven bay leaves and write what it is that you want and put it in a little sachet bag, something like this, or a sock or whatever you have. And you can take it out every night and read it. Now, if you're using a bay leaf, I would write it on seven different bay leaves. And on the back, I would write a powerful statement like it is done or thank you, God. Whatever it is that you feel comfortable saying, I would write on the back a, a statement of it is already done and on the front what it is that I desire. Again, you're going to take it out. You're going to read it every night, every one of them now, because you wrote seven of them. So you're going to read all seven and place them back in there. Now, what you can do as another tip, you can add things to help your manifestation. For me, I might add a little bit of cinnamon, a cinnamon stick or a cinnamon chip. Do I have that here? Yes, I do. A cinnamon stick or a cinnamon chip. I might add a crystal based on what it is I'm trying to manifest. So let's just say it's money. I might add a very small pyrite, fool's gold, in the back, okay? Or I might add a citrine, which represents money, especially for business owners. I might add, if we're talking about love, I might add a rose quartz in the bag to represent love, to bring in that energy of love. And no matter what it is I'm trying to do, I might add a clear crystal quartz because it magnifies or supercharges whatever it is it's next to. It is just that simple. So if you're trying to manifest love, you can write something like, thank you, God, for blessing me with the perfect partner. Thank you, God, for blessing me with my perfect love. So now listen, if you're trying to manifest a new career, you can say, thank you, God, for blessing me with my perfect career. Okay, making the perfect amount of money. Okay, if it's on a bay leaf, you might write perfect career. Okay, 50,000. Okay, perfect mate, perfect love, perfect health. Any of these things can be written on a bay leaf. And if it's on a piece of paper, you can make it a little longer. Now, listen, you guys, if you guys wanted to know a powerful way of manifestation to take you into the new year, I just gave it to you. And this right here absolutely is one of my best rituals when it comes down to manifesting, especially going into the new year. Okay, everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And I just told you how to write something seven times put it under the pillow for manifestation. Now listen, if there's something that I mentioned in this video that you desire, please look in the description and go to the shop. If you want coaching or reading, the link is in the description. If you're not aware of, I do have membership. Hit the join button if you want to support this channel a little more. Other than that, join me every Sunday morning for live stream. 
Many are there. It's something we do every Sunday to commune with like-minded people. So again, everyone, this is Yvette. Get out there and write it seven times. Put it under that pillow and let me know how it manifested. <laughs>